Hey, what's going on everyone? This is a quick tutorial on how to import hundreds of sprites into Adobe Animate within only a few minutes. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is head over to Spriters resource and download, download ourselves a sprite sheet. We're just going to grab this uh, anime sheet from Super Mario Maker and we're going to go ahead and download it. You can just put it uh, wherever you want. I'm going to do it in my downloads folder here. And then we are going to go ahead into a sprite and just click and drag this file into a sprite. So now we need to convert this file into a format that can be quickly extracted. So there's going to be three steps to that. First, right click on this layer here and select layer from background. That's just going to get rid of the black background layer. Second, we need to get rid of the text up here. And to do that, you're going to use this selection tool and you're just going to select it and hit the delete button. Third, we need to use the eyedropper tool that's right here and select this blue background here. And then we're going to hit shift R and that's going to bring up the replace color dialog box. Leave from the same and change to to mask and then hit OK. Now everything's been split up except for these blue borders which we're going to need for the next step. Next we're going to hit save as and we're just going to save that document in our downloads folder. Name it whatever you want. The next thing you need to do is install the Shoebox uh, Render HGS software. You can download it at this URL here and I'll put a link in the description. Just run this installer here. Download it, run it, and get it on your system and then you'll have a piece of software named shoebox and just go ahead and open it up. You're going to want to extract the sprite sheet that we just created. So here we're going to take this enemy sheet and we're going to drag and drop it into extract sprites. And here you can see it's breaking apart the sprite sheet. One thing I want to mention is sometimes it has little issues parsing over the sprite sheet. You'll need to double click and update the numbering sequence. Once you are happy with how it looks, hit the save button and it's going to go ahead and begin extracting those sprites. So here they're done. It only took a minute. Let's go ahead and update this value here. And just put this little placeholder in here. Let's change this to 0, 0. So now we just take this uh, sprite here and move it into a sprite. And it's going to agree to move all the other sprites into a sprite and hit agree. So every single sprite is in here, and if you go near the end, you can see that it's collected 408 frames, that's 408 sprites. Next thing we need to do is use the eyedropper tool and hit Shift R again and select Mask. Now all of the background layers from all the sprites have been removed. One thing I should mention that will save you a lot of work is to go to Frame Properties and change the duration milliseconds from 100 to 20. If you're, if you're animating in 60 frames per second, this will make each individual sprite a single frame in, uh, when it gets exported into Adobe Animate. Go ahead and go to Save File As and save it as a GIF, and then hit OK. And here you can see the GIF file that has been created. Now go into Adobe Animate and take the GIF file and move it into Animate. Should only take a second if it's a new file and here you'll see all of the sprites have been imported. We have a GIF here that contains all of the files. I recommend going to Properties and setting this as a graphic. And then we can drag it on the stage to take a look at it. And then you're going to see that each individual frame has its own character inside of it. This will save you a ton of time with breaking up sprite sheets and moving them into Adobe Animate. A couple little things to keep in mind as you go through this process. When you adjust the frame data, Make sure you select all the sprites like this. You can do that by just clicking and dragging like I just did and go to frame and then frame properties and set it to 20. The other thing you should know is that when you use the eyedropper tool and do the replace option, make sure that all is grayed out here. And that's going to make sure that any changes you make is going to be applied to all of the sprites. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think this was useful or if you want me to go over anything else. 